Students, welcome to those classes. I am solving the questions. This is a continuation of the last video. So let's solve the number of generators of the additive group Z36 is equal to what? So we know that the number of generators of additive group is nothing but phi of n. So it's function of this. So number of generators in Z36 is nothing but phi 36, which can be written as the product of these two primes. So this is nothing but phi of 3 square into phi of 2 cube. Okay, and sorry, phi of 2 square as well. So this will be 2 and this is 6. This is 6 and 2. So answer is 12. Hence, the number of generator is 12. Now let's go to the next question. This question is about... Okay, a limit question. So limit questions, these kind of questions, remember that we have to use integration for this. Okay, so limit with this summation always has to be done with respect to integration. So limit n tends to infinity. So after the very first step, I'm writing here 2 by 5 integration 0 to 5 pi by 2 sine of pi by 2 plus x dx. So this is a new structure here. So this can be written as 2 by 5, 0, 5 pi by 2. So this will just be coming cos x dx. Okay. So 2 by 5 sin x 0 to 5 pi by 2. That's it. So you can put the value and this will be coming as sine pi by 2 finally which can be rewritten as 2 by 5 that's it so our answer is option number c now we go to the next question here this one is a useful one so let uh, this is a twice differentiable function and then we have to find the value of del 2 g del u square and del 2 g del v square. So we can see that g of u v is dependent on function of this. So function of a function, this is the format. So let me first do the partial derivative. If you have any problem with the partial derivative, you can see our partial derivative structure as well. I've solved it. Okay. So this part is f dash u square minus v square into 2u. That's it. And the second order derivative of this is giving us f double dash u square minus v square into 4u square plus f dash u square minus v square. And the derivative of 2u is only 2. So similarly, we can do that for del g del v, which is coming f dash u square minus v square minus 2v and del 2g del v2 as f double dash u square minus v square into 4 v square minus f dash u square minus v square into 2. So now all you have to do is to add these two equations and uh, you can see that this portion is getting cancelled. So we are ending up with 4 and 4. So the final answer is 4 of u square plus v square f double dash u square minus v square. So option B is the correct answer. So we have done till 5. Next question is question number 6. Now, so this one is a double integral as I have told in my double integral questions. Now to solve this, so this limit belongs to the first part and the second with this. Okay. So let's do it. So I will segregate. Remember that it's exactly opposite it's not for second with first with two two with one okay so this is dx for your convenience i'm writing like this sine of y squared dx so one thing is clear that x is less than one okay so now this is zero to dx so you don't need to integrate this part in the beginning so x to one and i'm writing it as one by two y two y sine y squared dy so it will be easier for me after derivative you will get this part 0 to 1 cos of x square by 2 dx 
that's it after that you put the value so cos 1 minus 1 so cos 1 so 1 minus cos 1 by 2 so option D is our answer okay so from question 7 I will be doing in the third video thank you